Two nights a week, this Paris Community Center opens its doors to neighborhood youngsters, giving them a place to hang out and to get advice. C'est de faire comprendre à ces jeunes que ces contrôles ne se font pas. We try to make these youngsters understand the police controls are unlawful and impact their future. It is not normal they are targeted because of their appearance. Here and in other poor neighborhoods of France, relations between police and minority youngsters can be explosive. It's a long-standing problem. Fifteen years ago, riots spread across low-income housing projects after two teens died fleeing police. During the coronavirus lockdown, activists say young black and ethnic Arab men face disproportionately more police checks and abuse. In April, violence flared in several Paris suburbs after a motorcyclist was injured when he crashed into a police car. Pendant le confinement, c'était chaud quand même. C'était chaud. On nous courait après. The confinement was hot. The police chased us. We had more checks. They would find us straight away. Now, George Floyd's death in the United States has touched off a powder keg. Thousands are defying a coronavirus ban against gatherings and calling for justice. Another name resounding here is 24-year-old Adama Traore, who died in 2016 after being restrained by police. The cause of his death is disputed, but Traore's family draws parallels with Floyd's. Like in the U.S., the protests are about more than police violence. I'm here for many reasons, inequality and racism against blacks, police violence. We want to have more rights. French authorities say they will ban a controversial chokehold method to detain suspects. They vow zero tolerance of police abuse, but they deny systemic racism within the force. Rights advocates say the government's response is inadequate. They place the problem as an individual problem, a few bad apples in the police, whereas what's really needed is reimagining the police, rethinking the police, changing police missions, changing the legal framework, accountability. So there needs to be a whole structural reform of the institution, not micromeasures. It hasn't always been this way. During multiple terrorist attacks a few years ago, police were briefly treated as local heroes for protecting and sometimes dying to save people. That seems a long time ago. Today, the French are divided over whether these protests will bring about serious change. Still, some hope that, like in the U.S., this is the start of a bigger conversation about discrimination and race. Lisa Bryant for VOA News, Paris.